Yeah, yeah thanks. Just a little uh, toast. Okay. Why, why, don't you, why don't you open? Why don't you open the door? Because it's, it's okay. Um, start recording. I, I like to talk a little bit about protein. On my website, when people are talking back and forth, they are intense. They are intensely focused on protein. How much protein? I eat, I need to eat more protein. Did you get some protein? Where do you get your protein? How do you get your protein? Hey, I found some good protein. I found some protein shooters. <laughs> 40 grams of protein. I just, whoosh, and they go, oh man, I'll just get that good protein. Where'd you get that, you know? Because everybody's focused on protein. So I want to ask you, each of you have talked to at least 10 of my patients, right? Have you talked to anybody who was suffering from low protein? <laughs> Right. Now, we actually have a few. We've done almost 5,000 people, and we have had a few people get low protein and malnutrition, but it's very small. So our guidelines are that that whey protein that we recommend, a little bit of that is good for you. But don't worry about it. Don't get wound up over it. Don't obsess over it. When you eat a healthy diet, that's the foundation of our advice. Do you need to eat your protein first when you have a meal? No. Do you need to make sure you get protein at every meal? No. Do you need to have a protein supplement constantly available and eating lots of protein high? No. Very high amounts of protein are associated with increased risk of kidney stones, and we don't want that. Some extra protein in, as, part, as a small part of a healthy diet, we do recommend. Does that sound right? Is that okay? The most important part, as far as we can tell, is the healthy diet. Probably over the vitamins and over the supplements, from the best research that I can find, and I'm constantly trying to pay attention to this, the healthy diet with this, a foundation of fresh fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, just like we've heard a million times over, is the best that we know how to do right now and that all the supplements look kind of like small potatoes compared to that. Now the supplements are still valuable, but I wouldn't get over tense about it. You don't have to ruin your life or change your life, just eat kind of a healthy diet. That's our foundational principles, and lots of research I think continues to support that as our base advice. In other words, should you be worried about carbs? <sighs> carbs, I got, I got low carbs, I want low carbs. Because I'm on the, I want to be careful of carbs. Beware of carbs. Okay? Has anybody been on an Atkins type low carb diet? Good. How does it work out? Okay. Well, you're here. Right. right. Me, some other people weren't here. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. So low carb diet does work for a while, but it doesn't have long term success in our experience. So we don't recommend that you focus on. Now, should you avoid so called bad carbs? Yeah, in general. Do you need to live, is it a good idea to live on Twinkies and cookies and, and other high carb foods? No. But can you have a cookie after the surgery? Can you have a little bit of junk food? In our opinion, yes. Do you need to worry constantly about protein? No. In general, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, choose healthy. Hi. Choose a healthy diet. They are, I know, and, and we 